Hey guys, this is the first lesson of Axon ASP32 Robotic Arm. First of all, let's look at the construction. Its body uses metal oxide materials, which is solid and beautiful. Robotic Arm composes of six servos, which represents six degrees of freedom. Six servos are connected in series for simple wiring. Intelligent bus servo is not only connected easily, but also support real-time temperature, voltage, and position feedback. Compared with other servos, number 5 servo needs to bear stronger force, so a servo with 25 kg strong torque is used here to provide stronger driving power. In addition, limit angle is set to both number 2 servo and number 6 servo. The limit of number 2 servo is set to 240 degrees and number 3 servo is 320 degrees, which can reduce friction between bracket and servo wire to protect servo and prolong the servo life. Next, let's take a look at the main controller. It composes of ASP32 controller and expansion board, equipped with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modules. Multifunction expansion board is convenient for users to carry out wireless data transmission and development. Now I will introduce you other modules on expansion board. This one is mouse and keyboard ports, which is used to connect mouse and keyboard to control robotic arm. This is port can be used to connect sensors or electronic module directly for secondary development. This one is bus servo port which is used to connect the servo on the robotic arm. This is six ports are used to connect PW and servos for secondary development. Here is power port. When using robotic arm, you must connect red wire to positive port and black to negative port. Then connect power cable to the adapter before the power pairing wire is not connected to the controller. Do not connect it to the adapter. The battle on expansion board is used for low voltage alarm. Now, take a look at the buttons on expansion board. This button is used to disconnect Bluetooth. There are two buttons on ESP32 controller. The left one is hardware restart button and another one is offline running button to perform action group. You can refer to the following tutorial to learn how to use it. Of course, you can also customize this button as your requirement. Then, let's look at the programming modes of XM ESP32. There are two modes, which are PC software programming and mobile programming. For better user experience and learning, PC software provides graphics programming interface you can drag to control. In addition, XM ESP32 also supports PS2 handle mouse and mobile controls for quick user experience. After experiencing robot control, you can learn Python editor developed by our company. We also provide your various basic operation library files for better learning. If you want to realize more games, you can purchase sensor development kit to learn intelligent gripping, color shelling and etc. Finally, some notes need to be mentioned. Please place the robotic arm on flat and smooth desktop, which can fix it with suction cups more stable. When robotic arm is in motion, keep your body away from robotic arm. Do not use servo for a long time. Okay, this is the end of the video. Please keep watching the following video. Thank you.